People often say that uh, we've always been Unitarian Universalists, but we just didn't know what to call it. We were mixed marriage, uh, Jewish and, and Congregationalist, and uh, we just tried Unitarianism, and we came for our children, and we stayed for ourselves. I grew up in Texas to a Muslim community, and so a lot of the community life was centered around the mosque. I feel like with Unitarian Universalism, I'm able to get that really strong and important, I think, feeling of building beloved community. Everyone here knows who I am. They know who the woman I've been in a relationship with 15 years is. They um, appreciate that relationship and they respect it. And I am encouraged to come and be me. And that is the first place I've ever been able to be me. I invite you to join me in appreciating the unspeakable beauty of what happens here week after week. When people ask me what is Unitarian Universalism, I, I like to pull out the first principle of the inherent worth and dignity of every person. We have a spectrum theologically that runs from Christianity and Judaism to atheism, agnosticism. We are not the kind of church that says, if you don't believe in our God, you're going to hell. People who come out of a variety of faiths can come together here knowing that their particular way of understanding truth and meaning will be appreciated and accepted. This is a place where you're welcome, uh, where you're invited into fuller relationship with yourself, with the spirit of life, uh, with other people um, to build a better world and to build a better you. You walk in the door and it's like, hi, who are you? Come in and immediately you feel that you have inherent worth as a person. It's just the most amazing thing to be nourished body and soul by a community. People in my generation, they'll say they're spiritual, um, but they're not religious. They don't like organized religion. And the UU church, I mean, yeah, it's a church, but it's, it's non-creed oriented. It's, it's open, it's welcoming. I can bring my atheist mother here and <laughs> my Catholic ex-husband and my modern Orthodox trained Jewish children and we're just all loved. This liberal religious tradition has a very distinctive message and it is attracting people that haven't been hearing it elsewhere. It was liberating, it was freeing, it was challenging. All those things that I was looking for in a religious place and a religious community. Once you start to have children, it's nice to have someone else trying to teach them similar moral values. You know, it's, it's really nice to have it reinforced by a community in which you feel comfortable and you feel like these values are, are truly shared and important. My oldest is now in third grade, and so she's starting to get into more of the conversations about social justice, about neighboring faiths, about what other people believe, about starting to identify what is important to her and what is her beacon. We kind of believe in community outreach and helping us become better by helping the community. In Unitarian Universalism, we have a responsibility, which is to provide people the opportunity to do the work that it takes to figure out what their beliefs are. We also want them to have respect for the interdependent web of all existence, so that will be a part of our religious education. We want them to have respect for themselves and for their bodies, so we do do comprehensive sexuality education with children, which we feel is a part of their spiritual growth. It gives you like a whole new perspective of how other people think and how other people feel, and it just, I think it just makes you a nicer person. The trend more recently is for us to name our religious education lifespan faith development because we recognize that it's a process that occurs throughout our lives regardless of our age and stage. One of the things that people don't understand about our movement is that it does really have a very rich historical past, not only roots that go back to the beginning of the Reformation in Europe, and a very rich uh, history in 
the United States and colonial America. I think what I want folks in our congregations to know is that if there's a candidate for the great American faith, it is us. Take a look at who signed the Declaration of Independence, and you see our names there. Three of the first six American presidents were Unitarian, and I'm pretty proud of the country that we helped build. This faith, the more I learn about it and discover it, is ingrained in the values that the American Constitution is put together with. It's about acceptance and tolerance and liberty and freedom to believe. I think it's an inherent in who we are as, as citizens of this country. Most of the idea of universalism, although it had some roots in England, uh, is really indigenous to our own country. Very simple, plain folks, mostly farmers and tradespeople, who really did believe that a loving God wouldn't damn people to hell. Unitarians, although they also believed in a benevolent God, put more stress on what William Mallory Channing called character. He called it salvation by character. He said, what matters isn't what you believe, it's how you live your life. And Ralph Waldo Emerson and all those other luminaries from the 19th century and the Unitarian side of our movement made that kind of assertion. For both the Unitarians and the Universalists, the people in the church had a moral obligation to reform society. And so uh, it wasn't simply about getting your soul right with God. It really had very much to do with helping your society uh, live up to its highest principles. So by the mid 20th century, the Unitarians and Universalists saw that they had more and more in common. And in 1961, they formed the Unitarian Universalist Association and brought their two traditions together. Our philosophy is be out into the world six days a week and then come in here and tell us how that informs your faith. We are about trying to improve uh, the conditions in which a lot of people live and, and make the world in our community a much better place. The Unitarian Universalists sent more ministers to Selma to join Martin Luther King uh, in the Civil Rights March then uh, than any other uh, denomination. That's one of the things I love about my church is that, you know, activism and social justice are a part of the principles, but then they are really lived out. Fighting classism, sexism, homophobia, working on environmental justice, really kind of creating the world we want to create. I think that there are folks who are coming to us right now in larger and larger numbers because they're looking for faiths that really respect the earth and have a, a stake in the environmental movement. And that's always been one of our values. Our elected leaders will be able to hear us if we can speak from our hearts. We're really trying to move forward as a congregation or as a community, and so it's really exciting to be a part of something that is very progressive and that is engaged and active. This church, from its inception, has been interested in, in changing the world. I don't have a minute to hate, she cried. I'll pursue justice for the rest of my life. May we go and do likewise. tradition, a religious tradition that respects you and challenges you at the same time to be your best self in everything you do in your life, then this is a tradition for you. Let us commit ourselves to living out our theology. Let us celebrate being part of a reasonable and a passionate faith, a faith that requires us to engage deeply with moral questions. This work is difficult and the discoveries will be different for each of us. But we must always remember that it is through our most human quality, the ability to love, that we can touch the divine. So may it be, and amen.